This scholarship will cover your full tuition fee, your living expenses for the whole period of your study, and even your travel allowance. But before we get into it, if you are new here, you are welcome to my channel. And if you've not subscribed, please subscribe, like, share, and comment and help support my channel. Let's get started. Today, we are going to talk about the Singapore International Graduate Award. We are going to start with the benefits, so let's go down and find the benefits. Here we have coverage and it says the award provides support for up to four years of PhD studies. This is a PhD program. However, if you have a bachelor's degree, you can apply to it and the master's degree can also apply to it. So it covers your tuition fee, then a monthly stipend of 2,700 Singapore dollar, which will be increased to 3,200 Singapore dollar after passing of the qualifying examination. So initially you're going to receive this amount and when you pass the examination, it's going to be increased to 3,200. Then a one-time airfare grant of up to 1,500 Singapore dollar, one-time settling in allowance of 1,000 Singapore dollar. This means they are going to cover your travel cost and then you're going to receive an amount to help you settle in when you get to Singapore. Then down here, they have the cost of living in Singapore, so you can just go through it. It means that the living expense amount you are going to receive covers all these things. It covers your food, your accommodation, your transport, that is your local transport, and other expenses you might need. It covers everything. Here we have the details and it says the Singapore International Graduate Award is a collaboration among the Agency for Science, Technology and Research, the Nanyang Technological University NTU, the National University of Singapore NUS, the Singapore University of Technology and Design, the Singapore Management University and the Singapore Institute of Technology. So these are the universities you are going to study at if you are able to get the scholarship. It is a bond free award offered to international students with excellence academic undergraduate and slash or master's results and strong interest in doing research leading to a doctorate or an engineering doctorate in science and engineering at Singapore University. So as I said earlier, if you have an undergraduate or a master's degree, you can make this application. Then down here, we have the universities and the degree that they offer. So NUS, you are going to get a PhD. NTU, it's a PhD. SMU is a PhD and an engineering doctorate. SUTD is a PhD and an engineering doctorate and SIT is also an engineering doctorate. Then we have eligibility. It says open for application to all international graduates with a passion for research and excellent academic results. Note, SINGA is intended primarily for international students studying for the first time in Singapore. Singaporeans, Singapore permanent residents and international students studying or who have studied in Singapore tertiary institutions are not eligible. Then you should have good skills in written and spoken English and good reports for academic referees. The above eligibility criteria are not exhaustive. A star may include additional selection criteria based on prevailing scholarship policies. Application procedure. The first thing you have to do before you start making the application is you have to browse the PhD research projects. We are going to check that in a minute. So he says go to research areas to browse the projects you are interested in. Then you check the required documents. Do prepare the following documents in advance before applying. A, a valid passport and B, a recent passport size photo. Then the third one is your transcripts and reports. All transcripts need to be in English translation. So if your transcript is not in English, you need to get an English translation of it. Here are the documents you need to make the application. The first one is bachelor's and slash or master's academic transcript. It says mandatory here because you need to have it before you make the application. If you have just a bachelor's degree and you are applying for the PhD, you can do that. If you have a bachelor's and a master's, you have to apply with both. Then a bachelor's degree certificate or school or a letter of certification from the university on your candidature if your degree certificate or school has not yet been conferred. You have to submit a bachelor's degree certificate. If you've not received it, you have to get a letter of certification from your university. Then two recommendation reports to be completed and submitted online by the referees. You may be requested by the university to submit satisfactory GRE scores as part of the university admission requirement. The submission of IELTS 
TOEFL, SAT 1 and 2. GATE results is optional and may be requested later by the university for admission. This means if you don't have any of this, you can make the application. This is optional. Then we have research areas and it says SINGA supports PhD or engineering doctorate studies in biological sciences, computing and information sciences, engineering and technology and physical sciences. So when you come down here, you are going to find your supervisors and projects. Each university has its own supervisors and projects. So whichever you are interested in, you can just click it. You are going to find the projects or the research areas and then the supervisors. Please note that you will be required to indicate your choices of supervisor in the application form. So if you find something you are interested in, you note the name of the supervisor and then you are going to use that to fill your application. Now to make the application, you are going to come here and click apply here. Application deadline for January 2026 intake is 1st June 2025. So you have just a little time to make the application. If you want to apply, you should start now. Now let's click this and see how the application is done. Here is the scholarship application portal. There is no separate application for the university. You make the application here. So when you come down here, it says account login. Singapore citizens or permanent residents login. So this is for Singapore citizens. So we are going to click login here. Now down here it says don't have sync pass account or an account. Register now. We don't have an account, so we are going to click register now. Here you are going to make the registration. So you enter your full name, your first name, your middle name, and your last name. You select your sex. And then it says citizenship type. Let's click this. You are going to select what type of citizen you are. Since you are a non-citizen, you are going to select this one, non-Singaporean citizen. And then it come down here, it says nationality. You are going to choose your country. Then here it says Singapore NRIC. When you select that you are non-Singaporean, this is going to go away. So you don't have to worry about this. Then you enter your passport, your date of birth, then your email address. You enter this verification word. You check this box and then you can submit it to create your account. After you've created your account, you can start making your application. Please note that there is no application fee for making this application. This is totally free. They have some frequently asked questions about this scholarship here. So I'm going to go through it so that if anyone has any questions, they are going to be able to answer it. The first one is general. So let's click this and see what questions we can find. There is a question here and it says, will graduate students be more competitive than undergraduates? And it says, graduate students would be assessed more closely on their research experience compared to undergraduates. The success of the candidate for SINGA will depend on the project submission and interview process. So this is for those who are wondering between graduate students and undergraduate students. Is there an age limit for SINGA applicants? There is no age limit for SINGA applicants while SINGA is targeted at younger applicants, mature applicants with relevant research experience will be considered. Can I apply if I do not have GRE, IELTS, TOEFL, SAT 1 and 2, GATE scores? Can I submit old scores? Yes, you can apply for SINGA if you do not have these scores. If you are invited for an interview, the selection panel will assess your command of spoken and written English during the interview. So if you don't have it, it doesn't matter. You are going to be able to make the application. The selection process for the SINGA award will not be biased against candidates without GRE or these scores. However, do note that you may be requested by the university to submit satisfactory scores as part of the university admission requirement and will further advise on the need to provide the scores and whether a recent score should be provided. Then the next one is what are the English requirements to apply for SINGA specifically? Is GRE required? Then it says these results are not mandatory for SINGA application. However, do note that you may be requested by the university. So it's the same as the one above here. You are not required to have them. You can make the application, but they are saying that you might be required by the university. And that is way after you've made the application. Do I need to apply on the university application portal in addition to applying on the SINGA application portal? And it says applicants applying for SINGA through the SINGA application portal are not required to apply on the university application portal unless contacted by the university to do otherwise. So you just make the application through the SINGA application portal. At later stages of your SINGA application, the university may contact certain selected candidates to apply on this application portal to obtain further details. 
Then this is the last one I'm going to read. It says, is there any application fee for Singer? There is no application fee for Singer. So you can make the application. And just like I said before, it is free. Good luck to all those who are going to apply. And I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment and help support my channel. See you in the next video. Bye.